Over the next 25 days, you have a choice to make. A choice to ensure representation of every group from the 54 member states to the Commonwealth Youth Council. There have been several debates in every member state on how to ensure inclusivity and engagement of persons with disabilities, minorities, and other excluded groups. My plan is to develop and ensure a common legislative policy based on the following agendas. First, in every Commonwealth member state, excluded groups confront barriers based on their social identity, which deprives their participation in social, economic, and political life. To overcome this barrier, I will ensure inclusion of all through initiating a broad approach that will promote and support the inclusion of minorities and young people into programs that will provide development opportunity to improve their well-being. This will be achieved by advocating for inclusion of these groups to have equal access to education, training, healthcare services, employment, sports, and recreational activities through their respective governments. In addition, through other Commonwealth Youth Council representatives, I will ensure that all groups are represented and included in decision-making processes as per the principles and policy of the Commonwealth Youth Council. Second, I will ensure that there is coordination and engagement by establishing a link between the Commonwealth Youth Council, the General Assembly, and the Secretariat to provide a smooth coordination of all youth affairs by providing timely and accurate information to members both the national and regional delegates. I believe it is important to maintain the integrity of the Commonwealth Youth Council. Therefore, I will achieve this by making sure we have in place an updated and secured membership database as per the Commonwealth Youth Council constitution. Third, I will help promote better leadership and governance by ensuring that persons with disabilities, minorities, and other excluded groups are not left out of the processes that shape their development agenda. This will be achieved by engaging the Commonwealth governments in encouraging the participation of their youth in respective legislative processes. I believe my previous experience of engaging with senior government officials in both the legislative and executive arms of government in lobbying for bills that support the interests of the pastoralist community who are marginalized will come in handy. In addition, I will ensure we sit with key decision makers by closely working with the Commonwealth Youth Council Chair to ensure the agenda of the excluded groups are driven and implemented. Fourth, youth employment. Though youth unemployment remains a global challenge, its implications for persons with disabilities, minorities, and other excluded groups have far-reaching effects. I will advocate and support the affirmative action as a means of tackling this problem by introducing strong partnerships with existing civil societies and national youth councils of member states. Through them, I will champion the formulation of policies to support the inclusion of these groups in the employment sector of the member states. In the coming two years, I will engage and work closely with representatives of different sectors, such as the ICT, agriculture, manufacturing, energy, and tourism, that have the capacity to create jobs and can employ a significant number of skilled youth. Finally, in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, many youth have faced massive job cuts, loss of lives, stress, and mental illness. If elected, I will use the CYC platform to reach out to respective health ministries of member states and ensure persons with disabilities, minorities, and other excluded groups are included in their vaccination plans. Access to basic protective wear like face masks is a challenge to the vulnerable members of these excluded groups. Therefore, if elected, I will prioritize the availability of protective wear to these groups through donations from governments, international agencies, organizations, and the private sector. The economic recession resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic has seen a rise in substance use among the youth. This coupled with existing mental illness and depressive disorders has seen poor mental outcomes in many countries. I will therefore use the CYC platform to engage member state governments 
on the importance of reviving the educational institutions as a way of reducing the consequences resulting to the pandemic. Though inclusion efforts of persons with disabilities, minorities, and other excluded groups have gained momentum in many countries over the years, COVID-19 has posed a great threat to these gains. For these groups, COVID-19 has kept out reach of their ability to achieve economic security and independence, hence an increase in their mental illness. To mitigate this problem, I will lead commitment efforts from governments, healthcare providers, employers, educational institutions, and all other sections of the society to continue prioritizing inclusion efforts for these groups. In conclusion, if you all live up to our responsibilities, we will save lives and give hope to millions. I'm asking for your vote to serve you as the next Vice Chairperson of Inclusion and Engagement for the next two years. Read my plan to get a more comprehensive understanding of what I will do if elected. Thank you.